I'm gonna leave, let y'all go. I gotta get that in. All right. Ask the watchman. Um. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, the men that taught me this truth through the Spirit. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, that teach you this word and truth and sincerity, and the rest of the believers and followers of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All right? Now, today I want to go into what are we going to do if we can't buy or sell? Because this question came up during the Hebrews to Negroes uh, movie premiere, okay? Somebody, somebody asked the question, what are we gonna do if we can't buy or sell? And the question, the answer is simple. It's trusting to the Lord. There's nothing you can carnally do to save yourself from not buying or selling, from the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, because that's what you're talking about. When you say, what are we going to do if we can't buy or sell? Because the scriptures say that when the mark of the beast come, if you don't have that chip, you won't be able to make transactions or do transactions, which means sell your product without it. Okay? So what is a servant of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai supposed to do? Is totally trust in the Lord. All right? Because there's no plan of action. There's no going out to the woods, trying to be a farmer, trying to uh, 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 be sovereign, and have go into your own land, go back to Israel, none of that uh, 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 will save you. Because it's about the Lord's election, all right? It's all about the elect of the Lord, because the scriptures, it's written that his elect will be saved. A remnant will be saved throughout the four corners of the earth, okay? Not the multitude. The Lord said, many are called, but few are chosen. The scriptures speak about, he, he only cares for the ones that walk through the straight gate, the ones that walk through the narrow path, while the rest that go through the broad ways are going through the ways of destruction. Okay? So, I don't even know where to start, man, because there's so many scriptures, but we're going we gonna to go through the spirit. This is Revelations chapter 3 verse 10 because thou has kept the words of my patience I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation so this is the scriptures that comes to mind what are we going to do if we can't buy or sell because you have kept the words of his patience brother if you could post the camera to the brothers that's doing the work okay because you have kept the word of the Lord's patience which means the, the word of the Lord's sufferings, okay? Because you sacrificed your time, your desires, and your life for the word of the Lord's sake, for the name of the Lord's sake, he's gonna keep you from the hour of temptation. The scriptures speak about we are gonna be preserved from famine. The scriptures talk about we're gonna be delivered from death. So what makes you think you ain't gonna be protected during the hour of temptation? Which is when the mark of the beast get implemented and you can't buy or sell without the radio frequency identification chip. Okay? So it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world. All the world. So no matter what land you try to run into, guess what? The whole entire earth, meaning all the inhabitants, not the planet, for the simple ones, the people on the earth is going to be tried with this mark of the beast. To try them which dwell upon the earth, behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So you're supposed to hold on to the faith that you had. Whatever knowledge you was able to obtain while you was in this truth, while you came into this word, you got to hold on to and believe. Like the scriptures, like Yahweh Shah always referred to this as a precious jewel that a man sold all that he had and held on to it. That's the same way you got to hold on to this word. Same way you got to hold on to your faith. So 
you might be going through a time where you're not eating, you still got to hold on to your faith. You're going to go through a time where you're not able to feed your kids or give them water. You still got to hold on to your faith. Your wife and your kids might leave you. You still got to hold on to your faith. The scriptures say, let no man take your crown. That's your wife, your kids, your mother, your father, your cousins, your nephews, your nieces. Nobody's supposed to get in your way of salvation. What are we supposed to do if we can't buy or sell? This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 33, verse 18. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. And that's what we're doing, man. We're hoping in the Lord's mercy. We're hoping in his salvation. We ain't taking it upon ourselves to try to flee out of America, flee from the midst of Babylon, which you got Jake literally doing that. That means spiritually, we gotta come out of the ways of America. We're not supposed to trust it to Egypt. Oh, well, brother, you still wearing Nike. Well, brother, you still drinking. Da, 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 da. That's not talking about that, man. That's talking about trying to build up a career and, 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 and look for a future in America. We're in captivity. We're in hell. Every brother doesn't, every Israelite don't have the option to go live in the fucking woods. Every Israelite don't have the options to, uh, 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 you know, be farmers and things of that nature. What about the Israelites in jail? What about the Israelites, you know, that's sickly? What about the Israelites? What about them? They still gotta have faith. That's what we have. So it says, Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. Okay? To deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. That's what's written for his elect. You gotta believe that, man. You have to believe that. What am I supposed to do if I can't buy or sell? Well, he said he's gonna keep his men from famine. Don't the scripture say, his servants shall eat? Woe to them that are full, for they shall hunger. So his servants, the Lord is not a man that he shall lie. He promised that his service is going to be good during that time, during the time of Jacob's trouble, during the time when all hell break loose. You got to believe that. Okay? It says to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waiting for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. He is our help, our Sakura. Okay? And our shield, which is just defense. Okay? Oh, yeah, 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 staff. That's right, support. This shit helps me walk, just like the Lord helps us walk. Because we walk by faith, not by sight, man. If we walk by, if we walk to this earth, looking at our situations and looking at what's going on around us, we'll be hopeless. We'll think like there's no hope at all. There's no end to this madness. But we walk by faith because we look on the things that are not seen. Because the things that are not seen are everlasting and eternal. The things that we see in our temple. So your situation, whatever adversity that you may face, whatever is allotted to your lot, it's a temporary affliction. It's a temporary adversity because the Lord is going to deliver us at the end. So it says, our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him. We're going to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. We want to go call halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. We want to be losing our voices for we've given praises and thanks to the Lord. Because he saved us during a time when we couldn't buy or sell. Because he saved us from the second death. Because he saved us from famine. He saved us from plagues. He saved us from destruction. For our hearts shall rejoice in him because he hath trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee. Faith. Have faith, O ye of little faith. Have faith, O ye of little faith, man. That's what Yahweh Shah told his disciples. Am I not with you until the ends? Then Yahweh said he'll be with us forever. You gotta believe, man. Have faith.
exhortation to Akim. Uh, we know what time it is. We know what times we are in according to the spirit and uh, using discernment and watching. Right? You can very well see uh, that we're coming into some uh, bittersweet times. All right, uh, We have to go through the bitter to embrace the sweet that is coming for the elect. And uh, we see we're now being addressed. We see that this word can no longer be ignored. And uh, we know that Satan, all right, is not only working through the so-called white man, some of the biggest Satanists and demons are gonna be people of our own nation. But at the end of the day, we're gonna see whose who's, who's, uh, works and faith will stand in these latter days, man. And Lord willing, the Lord have mercy on us, all right? So the bottom line is we'll see who Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah defends, and that's where our fear lies. That's who we, all right, uh, uh, represent. That's what we're speaking about. We got the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and this word is, is is reaching to where we need it to reach. It's getting to these higher up preachers. It's time to deal, be diligent, and edify, and show the world that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah are the true powers. Okay, this Jesus, this Christianity, all of that, all right, is, is being called out by a higher power. And it is our job to be at the forefront, all right? We're, we're on the front lines of a spiritual war. 